Howdy Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 Today's Manga Nerdigan Live reaction video is going to be for The Promised Neverland Chapter 174. So, uh, last chapter, we finally got um, Peter's backstory. And we found out that he basically worshipped his brother James, a.k.a. William Minerva. And in a way, we kind of saw um, how uh, James became William Minerva. Well, we saw how he was inspired to become uh william minerva and that was um julius's uh confession that was hidden in the rotary library um if because if james didn't find that there was no way william minerva would have uh ever happened and basically julius's confession talked about how he regretted betraying his friends and uh, that was just amazing to me to see it was nice to see that Julius actually regretted doing that shit. So, at least Julius's character is uh, redeemed now. Um, the other thing was, uh, I feel so bad for Peter. Because Peter was really indoctrinated. Like, heavily indoctrinated into the uh, Rotary mission. And James felt guilt. I know James felt guilty um, not being able to, like, bring uh, Peter with him uh, on his mission. And I feel like... When James said, uh, when James said his dying words, uh, were, uh, I'm sorry, Peter, for, um, putting this burden on you, or for leaving you with this burden, I think he kind of, uh, it was to, obviously with the Rotary mission, and I think he, James also regretted not being able to, uh, rescue Peter from, uh, the Rotary clan as, as well. Um, but... Also, some, um, but Peter, unlike, uh, um, uh, James, who, re uh, who, um, was able to kind of handle, um, everything that, uh, he learned was a lie, uh, kind of thing, Peter did not take it very well. Uh, it, it basically kind of broke him, kind of thing. And when he had, like, that, re like, that epiphany reality check, um, years later, obviously, it totally broke him. And it, and it took Emma's talking no jitsu to make him uh, realize that uh, his brother was right. And I'm glad that he, I'm glad that he's, he's uh, I, I gotta say this about, uh, before we get to this chapter. I'm so glad he fucking told the, told the kids. He's like, do you think the human world's gonna be all hunky-dory? Dude, the demons are, the humans are basically the same as, de as, uh, as the demons. They just don't eat, they don't eat humans. And they're the same same size of the same coin. That's what they are, so good luck over there. <laughs> I thought that was so great. Anyway, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this week. Uh, this week. Let's live together, fools. A position in life isn't something uh, one can easily throw away. Especially someone like Peter, who's who crossed the line into being a monster years ago. I think he fully crossed that line when, uh, um, when, uh, he ordered James to die. I choose to die here, um, as a raw tree. Good for him! Um, and this chapter is titled A New World Part One. Why are you trying to save me? Why do you look at me like that? Um, if you were born in Gracefield, could we have been friends? Of course not! Never! Don't bother- uh, uh. Don't bother, I'm done. The new world you're about to create is too bright for me. I'm... Oh, there's... I was able to enjoy this uh, for longer than I expected. Well done for a thousand years. What? Oh, a second! This is all part of that motherfucker's game. That's some sadistic shit. This is making me think of the higher being from A Gravity Boys, and I don't want to think about that mother, that manga. That manga is like torture. Oh god. And imagining P uh, Peter at um, at Gracefield, would they have been friends? Probably based on this manga panel, the manga panel we saw, yeah, they would. But if uh, Emma would have been a raw tree, would it have been different? She would have been. She would have been indoctrinated. It would have been the same goddamn thing. But 
do. I think she would. I think. I think she would have been. Do I think she would have been way too uh, too far gone, like Peter, to go join um, James? Probably. The human world isn't any different. Try it if you can. Emma, why are you crying for this asshole? I'm sorry. Why would you cry for this asshole? I would not cry. I, look at me. I ain't shedding tears for this motherfucker, and I've been crying a lot from from uh, death lately. Especially, uh, I cry. Oh, I cried. Uh, if you've watched, if you watched my Kibetsu no Yaiba video from last week, you know I cried. Oh, I I will cry when character when certain when uh, characters die. I will. I didn't cry for twice. There was no need to cry for twice dying. Even though I love twice, I just didn't feel the need to cry for twice dying. But I will cry when character deaths are written well, and especially if I like the character. But fuck, Peter deserved to die. He's a piece of shit. I wouldn't cry for this motherfucker. Fuck him. Fuck him. Ep like seriously, why would you cry for this asshole? Why? But man, that demon god is a dick. He's a dick. Oh, God. I can't wait to get... I, I, Oh, God. I can't wait to get to the bottom of that motherfucker. Seriously. I hope Lewis exposes that bitch. Not gonna lie. Watch us. We'll find it for sure. A life where we can live ha uh, happily with our family. <laughs> Good luck with that. So, Emma... So, Emma and uh, all of you, what do you plan to do now? We're going to retreat for now. There's still the 2,000 Imperial soldiers, and uh, we have other stuff we need to do. But I'm glad because I wanted to talk to you once we got to Gracefield. Let's go to the human world. Um, once everything is over, you should come with us. I want all the children to go to the human world. All means uh, the children who grew up, too. I've already made the promise with for it to be that way. Now... This is when I could get on, this is when I'm, uh, get on Emma's side on shit. This is when talking no jitsu actually works for me. That's, a, that's smart, Emma. Include the adults on this one. And it's not the, you know, I'm fine with the mamas going over there and the humans that w worked with the, uh, with the, with Rotri and the demons. Cause, like, it ain't their fault. It was either do that shit or die. It ain't their fault. Um, of course, that's only if you want to. Once everything is done and the promise is implemented, Mom, the sisters, the adults, and children of the other farms, we can all go to the human world. You're going to forgive us after what we did? Well, but we'll appreciate, we'll stay here. We appreciate your offer, but we're get over it already. You were sick of this, right? If you have regrets, take care of them in the human world. I'm glad I'm alive. It's because I'm alive that I can atone for my sins and clear my conscience. Well, speaking of that, Ray... You want to use that logic on, on Peter? Peter would never be able to atone for all the sins he's done. Never. And you want to get? And you want to keep that motherfucker alive? He would never be able to atone for all of his sins. So, I'm not sorry for saying that. It's fine. No one res will resent anyone. We're not holding grudges. Wait, you're not holding grudges? That's very big of you. That's very mature. I, I gotta say, that's very mature of them to say they're not holding grudges. But, like, in the case of the moms and the sisters and all that, that is understandable. I can understand them not holding grudges and shit and resenting them because this was a, um, uh, this was, if you don't do this, you're gonna die kind of thing. So I understand that. So let's go, all of you with us. Yeah, let's go, let's go. Come on, mom. Mom, mom. It should have been so painful. You must have been so shocked. You were betrayed by your mother in a most horrific way. Even now you're all trembling. But why? How could you forgive me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I've been sorry for so long. I'm sorry and thank you, everyone. I'm trying not to... No, no. Not gonna cry. If I do cry, it could be happy tears. Then it's settled. Just a little longer. Once we finish everything, we'll come back here. Until then, Gracefield will continue to operate, but... Uh, we'll be waiting. Uh, don't worry. The demons and the Rotary clan servants don't know about our betrayal yet. We'll handle it. Leave Gracefield to us. We'll take it. Wait, what? 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 Phil's alive? How? How is Phil alive? How? I thought Phil died. Where the fuck did Peter take Phil then? What? I'm so confused. I swear I thought they were dead. How the hell did you get how the 
motivation for this. Oh, gosh. Leave Gracefield to us. We'll take care of Phil and the others, and we'll deal with the demons, too. I want to release all of the children. I want to get rid of all the farms and create a world where no children are eaten. Uh, we can reach it. It's so close now. Be careful. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Okay, we're going. Well, you're not going to create a world where children aren't treated like shit, because let's be real. Well, eaten. Yeah, you could probably create a world like that. Well, you still, uh, we don't know what the wildlife is like over there. But, um, because, yeah. But, eaten by demons, if you, you gotta be more specific. Eaten by demons, okay. That's, that, uh, more specifically, eaten by demons, okay. Um, Cislo, uh, we're going to evacuate. Is everything okay on that side? Boss, everything's fine, or it was, but, well, I don't really understand. The Imperial soldiers are on the move. They're all leaving and heading towards, uh, toward the outer bridge. That's not good. Reinforcements are gonna attack us. Uh, we should run now. Wait, look at this. Notice a message from the Imperial capital to all citizens. Huh? Yeah, they're about to find out about the demon revolution. And something, you know, something I'm very curious about. And if, I'm curious if it's all going according to, you know, Demon God's plan. Is if, if the worlds are going to be united once more. It's got to be according to the Demon God's plan. It has to be. Like, it's, this is going to be, it's gonna, everything's going to be seg segregated. The human world's not going to be divided anymore. This is totally according to plan. It is. Because remember what that motherfucker said. I'm going to read what he said this chapter. After uh, Peter died. Um, I was able to enjoy this for longer than I expected. Well done for a thousand years. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, the world's no longer going to be divided. It's not. I'm calling that shit now. Calling that shit now. Anyway, very curious uh, what you guys think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigan Zinc. If you love what I'm doing and want to help keep this channel alive so I can keep bringing you more Promise Neverland content, there's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist. All that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, from me on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.